It's time now for the Sports Zone. We had a big rivalry game in Boone County, Scott hosting Chapmanville. Now the Skyhawks entered this game just below 500. The Tigers sitting at five and four. We catch this one in the second, still scoreless. Andrew Farley with a huge hit out towards the wall, and it's enough to score Adam Mullins from first for the first run of the game. Same frame here, two on for the Tigers. Jacob Topping with a hit. He scores two, both Talon Thompson and Farley. Chapmanville goes up 3-0. And that'll do it for that inning. Some Skyhawk action came in the third. Luke Knight making it home on an error, scoring the first run for Scott. Now 3-1 to one in the third. The Skyhawks found home two more times, but so did the Tigers. Chapmanville ultimately winning it the final 5-3. And we had some other area baseball as well. Nitro and Poco went head to head. The Wildcats winning it eight to two. Hurricane took down Independence big, their final 10 to one. Spring Valley also collected a big win, taking down Wayne 14 to one. And on the softball side of things, Spring Valley shut out South Charleston 5-0. Now, you guys, this is a bunch of shutouts we have coming up. We had another one in St. Albans, the Red Dragons taking down Polka 9-0. Another one in Nitro, the Wildcats taking down Logan. And another one in Independence, the Patriots taking down the Cavalmanland Knights, their final 4-0. And that'll do it for morning sports. Now today is opening day for the Dirty Birds. I hope to see all of you over at Power Park.